It is the story News 6 has been following for years. Today, Florida's new governor, Ron DeSantis, and the rest of the elected cabinet pardoned the four African-American men accused of raping a white woman almost 70 years ago. The four men are known as the Groveland Four. News 6 political analyst Jim Clark joins us now with more on today's pardon and what this means for the Lake County community. Yeah, and Jim, this is a case you have been studying for a very long time, since 1991. When you see what happened here today, what do you think? Uh, this has been a long time coming. From the moment these uh, four young men became associated with this case, there was evidence they were not guilty. Uh, one of them was in jail in another county when the incident took place. Two of them were in Altamont Springs and had a number of, of witnesses uh, mm -hmm. to being there. So whether this was a case of mistaken identity or whether uh, Nora Padgett simply made up the story to cover up for something else, we will never know. But she continues to stand by her story to this day. I was surprised. This is the first time since the two trials that she has come forward and publicly appeared. Uh, it's been 70 years since she has uh, made a public statement about this. But doesn't that tell you something about what she deeply believes? Like she believes that these are the four men who, who harmed her. Uh, yes, and uh, I was surprised that, uh, that she even, even today won't admit that there might have been a case of mistaken identity, that Sheriff Willis McCall might have simply rounded up four people and thrown them in jail and uh, eventually killed two of them. And given the day and age in which this happened, that was not an unusual thing to happen. That was not an unusual thing to happen. Now, this is 1949, uh, and Willis McCall was known for his brutality. He was finally removed from office in 1972 by Governor Reuben Askew after uh, beating an inmate to death, an African-American mm. inmate. So the violence continued uh, into the 1970s in Lake County. I think we were all a little surprised when the accuser showed up at this hearing and was willing to testify. But each time she has testified, of course, the last time was decades ago, her story has also changed, including today. You heard new details that you had never heard before. I did. Uh, the story about her having her clothes taken off. Other people who saw her right after the attack said she didn't mention the attack. She seemed fine. Uh, the doctor who examined her could find no evidence uh, to prove mm -hmm. that she had been assaulted. So... Lots of different versions of this story. So is this the end of the story, or where do we go from here? I think so. I think that uh, she had her say, her family had their say, uh, the relatives of these uh, four young men have had their say, and I think uh, certainly the city of Groveland wants to put the violence that occurred mm -hmm. there, some of the worst rioting in the state's history, if not the worst rioting in the state's history. Well, this has certainly left a scab on Florida, so much so that it is one of the first things the new governor had on his plate to do when the former governor had many years to do it and wouldn't even touch it. What does that say? I, I think it uh, shows a new day in Florida. Mm -hmm. For some reason, Governor Scott and uh, then Agricultural Secretary uh, uh, Adam Putnam, Putnam would not touch this. Mm -hmm. I mean, they wouldn't talk about it. They wouldn't go near it. Mm -hmm. The issue, the pardon basically has been sitting there for years and they wouldn't schedule it up or down. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't go near it. Well, it is a new, a new day. That is yes. for sure. It is certainly a yes. new day. All right. Thank you so much, Jim Clark, for joining us. And of course, you're going to be back a little bit later as yeah. well. Yeah. All right. So if you'd like to read more about the history of the Groveland Four and today's pardon, we've posted details on clickorlando.com. You can look for the story. It's right on our homepage.